Our next guest took rock and roll by storm in 1962 when he joined up with childhood friend Niall Stem and started the Stack Pennies. Y'all remember them? Together, the two would write dozens of hits, including Who's Laughing Now, Pretty Green Friend, Scrub Up, and On the Telly. <laughs> After a bit of breakup with the band, he continued to write for other top artists throughout the 70s and 80s. A comeback attempt in 2004 was thwarted when Hazel was accidentally abducted after a show at New York's Bottom Line. Nobody's seen or heard from him since, but he's here tonight, and he's, he's, uh, he's back, and he's okay. That's the first thing I'd like to report. And uh, you guys are pretty dang lucky because he's going to come up here and tell us about all that stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, rock icon Roddy Hazel. to meet you, brother. First, that's my sorry. hand. Thank sorry. you. Thank, thank you. you, Jerry. Thank you very much. Thank all these people. Glad to have you. I can't see a thing. I can't see anything. Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank all you, right, Jerry. Great. Oh, that's better. Great pet. <laughs> hey. Hey, first thing we need to talk about, is how are you? You know, last thing I heard about you, you're abducted after a show in New York. And from what I understood, what I understood, you... you Passed out in a, in, a, in a pile of trash on the street, and then a dumpster picked you up, and then... It was then, a pile of trash. It was, it was uh, similar, but it was uh, a tool bus. I got on the wrong bus. It was out the back, bottom line. Tool, the band Tool. No, Tool, Tool bus. It was, I got on the wrong fucking bus, man. So, 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 uh, we're going to... What's the person? We're going to watch the person as well. Sorry. I can't curse. Just watch it. What's up, my shit? I mean, sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry. Yeah. I was, uh, I got out of the club in 2004. It was right, it was just, it was horrible. But I got on the wrong bus and I was abducted. I mean, I wasn't, I just felt, I mean, I know they gave me some fucking wonderful shit. I was out of it for like two months. But I became, it was some strange, they were uh, pornographic film producers. And I somehow act back, back, ass, ass backwardly, as they say, was, Rust into this career as a, a, a pornographic <laughs> film star. Oh, yeah. Homosexual porn, actually. Well, that is, which that was is interesting <laughs> because the, the strange thing was, I was never, I was actually quite apt at it and I've never tried man to man love previously. <laughs> it turned out I was in some way gifted, but I didn't know. I was completely comatose. Well, that's remarkable. So that's I, remarkable. Would uh, <laughs> uh, no, uh, you like a Jackie? Um, maybe for later. Later, what happened after the? Can you? If, well, I don't remember most of it, but then, anyway, look, right. So bottom line, <coughs> uh, pornographic got on the wrong bus. Porn, gay porn, uh, and, uh, a lot of good money. Um, yeah. But uh, and uh, we fathered the internet, but uh, <laughs> but then I was in Colombia. You know, I went to Colombia. Okay. Now how'd that happen? We just got to hold up for a while, yeah. and I got involved in our uh, various things, but. Monkey training, monkey breeding. <laughs> I've got a picture. <laughs> this is quite exquisite. No, I will get this. This is yeah, this is a this is a training gong. Will you hold it? Will you yeah. mind? Will you, you, so, so you where's the sound man? Where's that they're everywhere. Don't worry about it. You just do your thing. They'll, they'll take care of it. Take care of it. I like him. Okay. But anyway, this is a training bell. This is, we would... To <laughs> suck. The little thing, I love the arm there. It's just... Let me try this again. Yeah. We summon the monkeys. Right. Like that. Yeah, yeah, no, I'd, I'd come if I heard that, yeah. It's good stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm 
what happened? I'm, I'm finding something in the time on the tour bus there. Or... Bobo and Junkie. All right, we're getting some camera right here. Camera two. Camera two. Camera two. That. Hold that up for him, then they can see it. Yeah. We, we trained that, and I saw it smuggling, Now we'll get that later. I'd like to get into that. Is that full road, really? No, on, honestly, because I heard something about that, and I, it made me wonder, how are you sneaking a monkey on an airplane? I don't know if you want to get into it here, but, you know, it's... Well, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty interesting, like, because I'm thinking, you know, monkey, they're active and stuff, and, like, how, how are you going to get, like, think, even if it's in a bag, you know, you got some of this going on, it's just, like, pretty. So, maybe you can enlighten us on that. Well, monkey smuggling, yeah. you know, is there's various ways you can do it. We tried, okay. we tried everything from you know making suitcases of monkeys and re reconstructing them surgically afterwards. Reconstructing the monkey. That's one way you could do it. But then we would try things like we would get like a big monkey doll from like a carnival. You know, when you throw the doll, uh, and it's like one of those stuffed monkey, stuffed animal type things. And we put a monkey inside it. <laughs> You have to get a seat, you know, sometimes, but you know, it'd be like, but there would be a real monkey, it was ironic. You, you pay know? for the seat. Well, the stuffed animal. Well, it depends, you know. But then we, we eventually, uh, we, when the operations got, you know, this is all, uh, you know, postpartum, but uh, we, would, we, would, we would take monkey embryos and, imp and, and implant them into human females. I was like, nuts. incubators. This is nuts, folks. This is nuts. Okay. <laughs> anyway, but these, these are monkeys, these, and these were monkeys. We were training them. It was not. It was not just like a purposeless, you know, primate trafficking, you know, enterprise. These were helper monkeys that I trained personally for the sexually handicapped. <laughs> Man, you want something there? <laughs> What's up, It's all right. Um, sorry. Truth. You know, it's horrible. Where's my mallet? Thank 